to a day in the life of an average Aboriginal. It is now November 9th. And welcome to my channel. Um, I tried to get some video logs up uh, last night. But I guess I couldn't. The internet wasn't up and, and my battery died, my camera. So um, I'm up early and I thought I'd do another video log for the YouTube channel. So I get the early YouTube uh, video logs done. And hopefully uh, you all get to view it soon. Um, I did reset my net and the internet is up again. So everything's working out good. I um, just recently woke up. And like I said, I'm kind of. Things are. When you wake up, it's too early. Sometimes you're not really ready for your day. Other than that, uh, I don't know if the weather out there looks alright. It's probably a cold morning as usual. So, uh, I don't know what my day is going to be planned. I'll probably get some st stuff done. Uh, like uh, going for a bike ride, you know, hang out with uh, some friends. Um, probably see what my day brings. Other than that, I'm too sure. So, uh, probably gonna do a little bit of laundry, I guess. Do some more folding clothes. Other than that, I uh, don't know what else to say. Um, I guess it's getting closer to November 11th. A lot of people who um, had family members that passed away in World War One and World War Two. Uh, my grandfather was in both, and he's um, long passed away now. It's been about 20 years or so. My grandma's been gone for maybe 12 years. So. If I had a chance to get spend some time with my grandma again, I probably would. Uh, I kind of regret not spending some time with her before she was gone. And I don't know. I said that day's coming up, and do spend some time to um, look at old war videos or you know video clips of. Uh, World Wars. Um, that's something you won't forget. You know, you even do it in school as a as history class. Um, the Canadian history is different from the American history. Yeah, Canadian history is different from the American history, and there's also history on the Native side too. Um, I don't know. If you study each one, then you'll you'll see the big picture of what happened long ago. So on that note, um, well, I recently got my poppy and I got it put up for now. Probably wear it in a couple more days. So, like I said, I, I wish I had a chance to spend some more time with my grandmother. She always had some kind of stories to say, you know, some advice. You know, I could always talk to her about anything. Uh, like I said in my recent video, uh, just recently found my uh, uncle. Uh, it's been, I think, about five months now, maybe six months. Um, it was uh, like July anyway. It was a month after. Um, that's a big party, but it's uh, good to see you know 
seen my uncle. It's been a long time. It's been 18, 20 years since I last seen him. I'm looking forward to seeing some other family members like the other uncles and, and maybe some of the aunts. A lot of my cousins have little cousins. Uh, like, you know, daughters, sons and daughters. And, you know, I haven't seen them yet. Some little cousins are growing up and they have kids. Some of them are older now too and hopefully get a chance to see them. Uh, little by little I get to see old photos of family members like uh, that I haven't seen for a long time and some new photos have come about I'm getting to know some of the other side of the family. So, uh, I'm not too sure, you know, in the middle of this month I'll be able to see my uncle or not. Good little my dad, so I'll text, I'll text my uncle and see if he maybe pick me up for a day or two. And I'll hang out with him and uh, see how his uh, little ranch is going. Uh, he built his house himself. He's got two big trailers, like big movable trailers. I guess they're like mortar homes or something. They got mortars in them and they move around. But anyway, he's got a mirror side of the house and uh, they're kind of a part of the house for now until he does some kind of building. I'm looking forward to seeing my dad and see how he's doing. Uh, see how his, his health's going. He's probably doing some rattles and uh, drums and that war hammer and peace pipes. It's getting all ready for maybe the spring powell or you know or the summer powell. You know, he took a little bit of break under because he hurt his wrist and his uh, I guess he banged his elbow and it started getting puffy. Kind of looked like a Popeye elbow. But the puffiness has went down. He's got some medication for that and some ointment and it's he says it's still kind of stiff at the, the where the elbow joints, and well, like I said I'm looking forward to seeing my dad and see how he's doing. Probably looking forward to something new to do. So. Uh, after that, if I get a chance, I get a ride to my cousin's uh, one city from that that area. Maybe I get a ride to their place. I'll uh, hang with my little cousin. Hopefully, I might have a PS3 ready for her, and she'll be able to watch Blue Air movies and play the couple games that gave her. I'm not too sure if the games work because I haven't got a chance to try it. They're just sitting on my uh, shelf. So uh, she's looking forward to me to come in there. She wanted me to come come earlier, like uh, the, on 21st, 22nd, some kind of parade she wanted me to go to. But I told her it would be at my dad's 20th, 21st. So I can't be there. and I can't be in two places at one time. I told her I'll probably be there maybe 26th, 27th, and hang out for a few days and then come back to St. Catharines. Make sure, you know, get some of my bills paid get ready for the new month it's only uh, you know it's only been a week into this month and you know things just get busy sometimes and you know you lose track of time you know you, you try to get uh, things done in one day and you know you kind of let other things go and things kind of build up and so much things to do. Kind of like closed. I did a lot of clothes in one day when I got back. It took, about, it took about like five hours. It took me about a couple of days to fold them up too. Maybe three days. But uh, you know, things take time sometimes. As you get older you're not as quick as you used to be and my back's been sore lately. I think it's this bed's too solid. Um, 
I got a back massager that you know you, to stick on, stick them onto your back and I have these wires to this device that kind of looks like a a phone, but you can have different settings, like nine different settings, and um, you can have like twelve levels per per setting. You can have two different uh, plug-in electrodes uh, for A and B. I can only handle at six. That's enough for me. Yeah. I use that around and I'll probably get a chance to use my um, my seat massager. That's for cars and you know, for for office, well, like home use. Got a little dial for that. I'll probably give that a try. Um, I'm gonna be trying to get some uh, game videos up sometime. It's like it's only November 9th right now, and, and uh, I'll probably try to get some other videos. And I don't know about gaming videos if I can do that just yet. But, you know, I don't need to have the device to record the gaming. So uh, as the days go by, I talk about you know what goes on in my life and any kind of events. Uh, like I, like, like I said the other day, was, you know, somebody probably was drinking and driving and they smashed into um, one of those uh, cable boxes. The one said, uh, well, it's it's kind of like the, uh, the phone wires for, the, you know, the area, the neighborhood. Um, it, there's like a little secret circuit board for every building on this... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a mixer board, but there's a bunch of different wires for each building, and that car took it out, and it took out all the, you know, if anybody had any land, landline phones, it would ground out. But not a lot of people I do know that require their internet through that. Um, you know, there's probably like three to five different uh, internet providers. Ours was out for like two or three hours, and probably had some kind of emergency uh, repair crew to go and fix that. It, if the wires were pulled out, like on that circuit board, like all the wires, that you know, it's going to be hard to uh, plug them in and find out which plug goes where because that's that's a lot of wires. There could be uh, like maybe seventy to eighty different wires on the street. You know, I don't know how how many is in there and how far it would stretch, but. You know, the, it seems like a lot of work. You know, they probably have a, a mapping for that kind of thing to make sure you know there's no mix-up and, and you know no cross wires. So uh, it's up. The internet's working, but you know I'm gonna do this early vlog and then get some other things done and then um, later this afternoon I'll probably get all these uh, vlogs up for a YouTube channel. Uh, as you can see by my phone, I mean the the signal's on, so the internet's still working. There's no problems with that. Uh, I probably you know uh, have some breakfast soon. It's um, it's about 7:45, and I woke up early to get this vlog done. Uh, and I'll do it a little bit early. I probably should get a couple more hours sleep. I'll probably go get a drink, and then if I want breakfast, I'll probably have breakfast. If not, I'll um, probably get a couple more hours sleep. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. Like I said, my day's too early to actually think. And... Um, after that... I'll probably, you know, see what the neighborhood boy is doing. Maybe he wants to go for a bike ride. I don't know. At 9 or 10 o'clock might be too early. But, you know, there's days that we went for a bike ride around 9 or 10. Kind of saying, like, close to noon. And, you know, I'm, you know, I get, get some of my daily morning stuff done and get ready for the bike ride.
and then uh, we hit, you know, we head out, and uh, we don't really always have a daily destination in mind. We just go for a bike ride, and sometimes it's to his grandma, sometimes it's to my cousins, uh, sometimes it's across town to check out any of the the Hot Wheels. Uh, if there's any anything new on a shelf, uh, sometimes they don't uh, restock their the shelf, not a shelf wall. Uh, they probably wait till it's all sold out there, and then they open up the box again and put some more on the wall. But uh, it, it's it's kind of crappy that you got to go all the way across town and and check it out, and you know there's there's no re uh, re up of the uh, cars every day or you know like a, a switch up you know then again you know his uh, collection is probably different from somebody else's maybe the, the ones that are up there are like he's, he's checked out and he's not interested in maybe somebody else is interested in that uh, car there's certain cars he's collecting and uh, there's some cars he's still looking for and he's got a good size wall He's, he's probably got, you know, uh, four feet by uh, five feet uh, on the wall of uh, different cars. They're all, um, there's like pegs, uh, thumbtacks, uh, thumbtack pegs. And each one has, you know, hanging up there and there's, he's got doubles and triples and, you know, extra copies just in case. There's somebody who wants to trade with him. It's something that uh, they want, and then there's something that he wants. And there's you know just a bunch of things going on in the internet, and you know trading back and forth. Uh, like I said in the earlier video, that the only down thing about that is you know it's sending it through the mail. It costs money to send just like a car to four cars or ten cars or whatever in a box. I think he sold. Uh, I think he sent uh, four cars in the mail. I think it was like fifteen bucks just to send that. I don't know if it's overall a, a really good buy, but you know, there's even some he's going to probably place online to uh, try to resell and make a little bit of money back. Um, I'm happy for his hobby that he has. It's good to see that uh, you know he's got something. Uh, to look forward to, uh, you know, his collection. Like he's just started his collection for the past month, and you know, it's good. Looks really good. He's got a good collection going. And uh, uh, he did have model cars before the, the cast iron, I think, it's cast iron or die cast, die cast model cars that he had. There's certain uh, classic cars that he would build it was his uncle or his uncle would had built in the past and you know passed on to his nephew. But that's all to say about that. Um, I'm gonna wrap this up now. I um, hope you guys like my video and please hit the thumb button. Um, maybe subscribe to me. Uh, please do let your family and friends know that I have a YouTube video up and I hope the, there's more viewers and they like my videos too. Uh, other than that, I'm going to see what happens in my day and um, let you know, know later in another vlog how my day goes. So you all have a good morning, uh, a good afternoon, a good day, you know, whatever time it is in your area. So that's it for now. This is Las Venus Wolf and I am saying goodbye. Have a nice day.